This tow truck can haul a vehicle as large as a semi-truck. The towing apparatus is called the underlift. This is one of four outriggers. These legs stabilize the tow truck when it's using the recovery boom. These hydraulically powered towing and recovery machines are made up of 2,500 parts cut from steel sheets. The parts are cut by one of two types of computer-guided machines, a high-pressure water jet cutter, as we're seeing here, or a laser cutter. Then tack weld them together. Tack welding is an initial welding in select spots, just to hold the parts together until a robot does the final welding. Next, workers sandblast the welded component. This preps the surface for painting. The paint dries in about two hours and fully cures in about two days. Workers hook up all of the hydraulically powered components to this testing machine. Workers connect permanent hydraulic lines. To assemble the recovery boom, they install hydraulic cylinders that will move it up and down. A winch that winds and unwinds the thick wire ropes and an enormous ring gear that enables the boom to rotate 360 degrees. Then they attach the extendable boom. It's secured with massive steel pins. Workers also attach the underlift at the back and the four stabilizing outriggers underneath. This completes the towing and recovery unit. Now they attach it to a pre-built truck. Steel mounting plates are bolted to the truck's frame. The towing and recovery unit is then welded to those plates. Workers bolt aluminum tool cabinets to the side of the truck's frame. Inside the cabinet, they make the wiring connections for the emergency lights and other electrical components. They install the electronic control panel that the driver uses to operate everything. The control panel monitors oil temperature, hydraulic pressure, and other important indicators. They also install a set of control handles to give the driver the option of manual operation. Once everything's hooked up, they perform a quality control inspection.